The Army performs. To help raise funds for patriotic purposes, armored units and infantry are combining in a small-scale sham fight watched by a gallery of the public. Gun carriers deploy against the objective. Aeroplanes cooperate. Ground explosions simulate their bombs, but the advance continues. The infantry wait their chance. Artillery opens the way for them. A tank attempts the crossing of a stream. Against opposition, it succeeds. The men are ready. The tanks have opened the way. The last strong point is crushed. Now the infantry can go in and clean up. It's been a willing action with all arms cooperating. The public enjoyed the performance, saw something of where the money goes. For the Air Training Corps, this is the first practical test of efficiency. These young men have come of age to enter the Royal New Zealand Air Force. They have been trained in their spare time as volunteer members of the Corps. Now they have volunteered for service. The Air Training Corps sees its first fully-fledged graduates enter camp. They will receive further recruit training. And then they will help to win the war. They will help to win the peace. Experience has taught New Zealand troops the value of the bayonet. Our troops in the Middle East have been well practiced with the bayonet, well tried in its use. These pictures of the NZEF in training arrived just before Rommel thrust into Egypt, just before the New Zealanders were recalled from Syria to fight in the battle for Egypt. The men charge over a course of obstacles. It's hot work, hard work, a tough test. But tougher tests would come, and the men of the New Zealand Division would meet them. They have been trained hard to fight hard. They have fought hard. They've done their job. They're good. They come from New Zealand. Machines can win battles. It takes men to win a war. These men will win. <laughs>